Hello, uh, today we will talk about a special diet or an ideal diet for the diabetic people for they cannot contract the, some diseases such as the heart diseases or the kidney diseases or the gangrene in the foot and also some problems in the eye and uh, our diet or this new diet that is based on uh, some natural and also healthy foods and home cooked foods only and uh, so uh, uh, our diet is free from whole animal originated foods no meats including poultry no processed foods and no milk and dairy products no refined oils and uh, no processed foods no fried foods and no junk foods no snacks no nothing and uh, the special diet for diabetic people for they cannot contract health diseases or some gangrene or kidney problems and so on they should avoid cholesterol, the foods rich in animal, in, 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 in saturated fats and cholesterol, which are animal originated foods. And also now refined oils because of the trans fats and because of the food additives and also now processed foods. And so uh, our diet is based on fish instead of meats because of the omega-3 and because of the vitamin D and the vitamin B12 and vitamin B5 and B6. The, the, the omega-3 and the, is very is very important for the diabetic people and it might protect the blood vessels against so any injuries and so any any problem and the, also fish and olive oil olive oil also because of the oleic acid and because of the antioxidants like tyrosol and hydroxytyrosol in olive oil and because that the olive oil is not refined and it may not contain any food additives such as such as the antioxidants chemical antioxidants BHT and BHA, which are usually added to the refined oils against the oxidation. And uh, our diet also may contain some vegetables and too much vegetables as a raw or, or, or cooked. Both are very sortable and very beneficial for the diabetic people. And because of the fibers, because of the antioxidants and because of the folic acid. Folic acid is very important for the diabetic people and also because of the potassium. You know, omega-3, oleic acid, antioxidants, and uh, folic acid, and so, and fibers are they are very strong and they are some uh, very uh, very beneficial for the diabetic people and they protect they may protect uh, these people from contracting the diseases that we mentioned before, and so uh, the the diet for for the diabetic people should be rich also in phytosterols and in uh, phytoestrogens which are some the hypertension lowers they lower the hypertension and they protect against uh, cardiovascular disease so and uh, these uh, phytosterols and uh, phytoestrogens that uh, are found in uh, some seeds such as the sesame and flax seeds fenugreek black humans and so crescent seeds and so fennels and also coriander seeds and canary seeds canary seeds are the first source of the phytosterols in the world in, on, on the earth is the first source of phytosterols, the canary seeds. And some spices also are very important as drink or as infusion, such as ginger, galonga, and so on. Also some other spices that can be, should be added to the food, to the meals, like turmeric and cinnamon, and uh, some others, with costos, if, they, if people can find them. Some herbs, also we will talk about them uh, in the next episode, we'll talk about some herbs and some drink, hot drinks for the diabetic people. And cereals, cereals are very important, but only whole grains, whole cereals, and uh, not, not, not uh, no flour, no white flour, no extracted flour. The flour, the extracted flour for bread, for white bread, that is not so terrible for the diabetic people, that because that is very higher in carbohydrates. So, but whole grains, because they may, the whole grains, and uh, they are rich in phytoestrogens, in minerals, in vitamins, and also in chromium. And chromium is GTF, is glucose tolerance factor. Chromium is very important, it's a staple mineral for the, the, the diabetic people. And they are also rich in niacin and thiamine, that's uh, B1 and B3. And uh, B1 and B3 may help the in the extraction of energy from foods. And the uh, cereals are also rich in phytoestrogens, so like the wheat bran and so the oat bran and the barley. And they are rich in phytoestrogen and they are rich in minerals like iron, calcium and phosphor. And, uh, and so on. Beans are not uh, so beans are not dangerous for the diabetic people. So like lentils and chickpeas or fava beans and so 
all the beans but uh, and soya also that uh, they are rich in proteins and they are rich in soluble so uh, uh, fibers and also they, they are rich in folic acid and folic acid is very important that with my help driving out the homocysteine from the blood vessels that because it might transform the homocysteine to the methionine and uh, the folic acid is very important it is a staple it's a staple vitamin for the, the diabetic people omega-3 folic acid and the potassium and the folic acid and phytoestrogen and phytosterols and all these things are very chromium also the chromium and also selenium why not selenium in fish and also in many seeds and also some tocopherols, vitamin E in some uh, fatty materials like almonds and like nuts and like peanuts and like pistachio and a lot of so the and also in pump, pumpkin seeds, pumpkin seeds also, that's all, this is the complete diet for the diabetic people. Fish, olive oil, vegetables, some fruits also that the diabetic might avoid, only sweet uh, fruits such as grapes, dates, figs and also honey. But uh, a lot of fruits that the diabetic people can eat, such as oranges, apples and prickly peas and pomegranates. And so many of them that, uh, that the diabetic people can eat you know, without any problem, but as wall fruits, no just. And some green leaves and a lot of things that we will talk about, some infusion and some also some herbs for these people. And this diet are uh, free of cholesterol and saturated fat. So these people may not have any risk of the cardiovascular disease and is rich in omega-3, in folic acid, in oleic acid, in antioxidants, flavonoids, and polyphenols, and fibers. And fibers may lower the cholesterol, oleic acid may lower the cholesterol, omega-3 may lower the cholesterol, phytoestrogen and phytosterols may lower the cholesterol, and these people that the diabetic people should not have too much cholesterol in blood. They should check the, the cholesterol and also hypertension, vitamin D, and also the wheat. So, the weight should not, the, the overweight is very dangerous for the diabetic people, they can contract any, any of these diseases. And so, that's this complete diet, so uh, avoid exercises and some fasting from time to time or starvation, that's because a lot of people cannot fast, and because, uh, or, and because of the insulin and the insulin time, and the insulin concentration, they cannot fast. But a short starvation of six hours or eight hours would, would be beneficial for these people. But exercises and move, they should move and they should practice some exercises every day, daily, for the, for the circulation, the blood circulation should be activated by this. And this is the complete diet. This complete diet is, is very beneficial and very helpful for these people. So at least they might avoid some uh, contracting any of these diseases we talked about, like gangrene in gangrene in, in the food or in some uh, heart, heart diseases and also some kidneys problems like some nephropathy in kidneys and also some problems in, uh, in, in the eye as do we, with the diabetic eye the diabetic food that are very known and all most of the diabetic people might develop these diseases that because the traditional diet is wrong and it should be corrected and cholesterol saturated fat should be removed from the diet of diabetic people and also not too much salt that because all processed foods are rich in salts and in trans fats and trans fats should not be used by the diabetic people and in our diet we have fish with olive oil and we have only natural and healthy foods only home cooked foods and also if they can so have some uh, anyway they can have so three to four meals a day but even big meals in vegetables they, there is no problem but they should not eat not, not meat, meat is very dangerous for these people, only fish and or at least so that we can, for some people who can move and who can do the exercises and we're working hard, they can eat some lean meats, only lean meats or uh, meats from pastured animals or some eggs also and like natural or organic eggs also they can eat eggs, no problem, but no milk, no dairy products, no meats including poultry and for these people just uh, for they cannot contract uh, some di diseases and also they can live and they, they, they will not, they will no problem with the, the, the sugar blood no problem because they have potassium fibers omega-3 folic acid phytosterols phytoestrogen and oleic acid and antioxidants also some flavonoids and polyphenols in this diet that we are now de describing so i think that we uh, hope that we can help these people i'm sure that this diet will help them 
just uh, they, they should try that because there is nothing, no limitation for anything. There is nothing dangerous, nothing harmful into the diet. And they should not ask about anything on this diet that because uh, it's free from any danger, free from any hazard for these people, inshallah. Uh, until another episode, see you. Assalamu alaikum.